Hello, my name is Natasha and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining me and please subscribe down below. And if you're already subscribed, thank you for coming back. Editing Latasha here. I just noticed that my side ponytail looks like I have some weird animal just sitting on my shoulder. So please ignore my hair for the rest of this video. Thank you. So today I'm going to be doing my third Net Galley review video. I have three books that I'm going to be talking about today. And the first one is Little Rumors. So I do think I talked about this one a few times in different videos. It did take me a long time to actually read through it. So that's why it's in the different videos of like what I've been reading. I gave this one a four star overall. And this one follows three friends. I think they're around like 11 or 12 and it follows the points of views of each of their mothers. So it goes into the background stories of their moms and they aren't really friends with each other. So the first half of the book goes pretty slow because we're just getting introduced to the different families and their backstories and how they happen to be in this city altogether. And then one of the children goes missing. And once that happens, things do pick up a little bit more. And during that time, there's a rumor that is spread about one of the moms. And it's definitely like high school gossip drama on how it gets spread through the mom's circle. But I don't think it takes away from the story too much on how gossipy it is. But the moms do seem a little bit more immature than the children do while thinking back on the book now. But overall, I did enjoy the book. I did give it a four star. This book is actually already released. It has a publishing date of March 31st, 2022. So definitely check it out if you like the missing child, slower mystery type of books. So the next book I read was We Spread, and I give this one a five star. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to read the synopsis of this one before I give my opinions. So the synopsis says, Penny, an artist, has lived in the same apartment for decades, surrounded by the artifacts and keepsakes of her long life. She is resigned to the mundane rituals of old age until things start to slip. Before her longtime partner passed away years earlier, provisions were made unbeknownst to her for a room in a unique long-term care residence where Penny finds herself after one too many incidents. Initially surrounded by peers, conversing, eating, sleeping, looking at the beautiful woods that surround the house, all is well. She even begins to paint again. But as the days start to blur together, Penny, with a growing sense of unrest and distrust, starts to lose her grip on the passage of time and on her place in the world. Is she succumbing to the subtle destructive effects of aging or is she an unknowing participant in something more unsettling? So this one was very intriguing to me while I was reading it. It's very slow and definitely a psychological type of thriller horror book. It is in the point of view of Penny the whole time. So we are in her head seeing and understanding as she is, which makes it very difficult to determine what is real and what is just being made up in her head. And because we don't know exactly what is real and what is not, it definitely kept me on the edge of my seat. I did not want to put this book down. Even though it is a slower paced book, I very much enjoyed the ride. There are trigger warnings in this book. I would look them up if you are sensitive to certain topics and do plan on reading this book. I don't want to specifically say what the triggers are because it will give some of the plot away. So if you are sensitive to certain subjects, please find the trigger warnings before you read this book. But overall, amazing book, five star, highly recommend. And I forgot to tell you when it's releasing. So this book is released September 27th, 2022. And the last book I have for this video is What Moves the Dead. I gave this one a four star overall, and I really enjoy this book. I'm gonna read the synopsis for this one as well. So it says, this is a retelling of Edgar Allan Poe's classic, The Fall of the House of Usher, 
When Alex Easton, a retired soldier, receives word that their childhood friend Madeline Usher is dying, they race to the ancestral home of the Ushers in the remote countryside of Ruritania. What they find there is a nightmare of fungal growth and possessed wildlife surrounding a dark, pulsing lake. Madeline sleepwalks and speaks in strange voices at night, and her brother Roderick is consumed with the mysterious malady of nerves. Aided by a reputable British mycologist and a baffled American doctor, Alex must unravel the secret of the House of Usher before it consumes them all. So when I went into reading this book, I did not know that it was a retelling. I did not read the synopsis beforehand. I 100% picked this up because of the cover. I kind of want to read the Edgar Allan Poe's original story now to see the similarities and differences. When I was reading the author's notes, I did see that this one was put aside once Mexican Gothic, I think, was released. And there are similarities to the two books, but I definitely liked this one a lot more than I liked Mexican Gothic. It is shorter in the beginning, does start off a little bit slow. I don't know if that's just like most books or I'm just being picky or I'm not sure, but it does start off a little bit slow, but then it speeds up very fast. It was like a slap in the face the moment something happened and then it just did not stop from there. So this one was interesting because we have something happening to the people in the house and we have a doctor and a mushroom specialist and a soldier all trying to figure out what's going on all at the same time. They do work together to try to figure out what is happening. I think that the mycologist, the mushroom specialist or fungus specialist, was my favorite character of the whole entire book. Nothing seemed to really phase her too much. She was more just interested in everything and not really terrified by anything. It was a nice little relief to everything that was happening around her and the reactions of everyone else during the time of everything that was happening. So I really enjoyed this one. I give it a four star overall and this one releases July 12th 2022. So thank you for joining me today and I will see you guys next time.